Hey everyone, before I get into the content for this video, I wanted to remind everyone that the type of videos that I make, the type of content that I'll be putting out there is largely influenced by how people interact with the channel. If people watch a video and then they subscribe to the channel or even while within the video, like let's take a look at this one here. Um, if they subscribe from the playlist, if they're watching the video and they subscribe down here or they subscribe up here, um, those are all analytics that I'd be able to see. So uh, whatever type of content that you enjoy, that you see valuable, that you want more of, then please be sure to go ahead and interact with the channel via subscriptions, clicking like on the videos, commenting in the videos, letting me know um, what type of content you want me to make more of. And with all that said, now I'll go ahead and jump into the actual point of the video here that you came to watch. In my previous video, I went directly into analyzing the call manager logs for two phones, two SIP phones, which are registered to the same call manager server. I didn't show how I went about collecting those logs. And in the comments of the previous video, there were a few people who wanted to know what methods I used to collect logs from the call manager. For the purpose of the videos that I'm making, I will be using RTMT simply because it's so easy for me to use RTMT. And once I log in here, it should connect not only to the, to the server that I pointed RTMT to, it should also make a connection to all the other servers that are online at the moment. I don't believe my IMMP node is online at the moment, but that's fine because IMMP doesn't have a call manager service running on it. When we go to collect the logs in RTMT, you can see from a list of different uh, log types, a little checkbox where you can select all of the nodes. You want to collect the logs from all the nodes or you want to select it to uh, gather logs from certain nodes in the cluster. And the way in which you go about it is you go to trace and log central, and then you go to collect files. One way that you can do it, which I won't cover in this video, I'll cover it in a different video, is to do schedule uh, collection. And that's where you are offloading logs periodically throughout the day. Uh, that way, if ever an issue occurs and you need to look into it, and, and in, in order to research the issue or, or I guess investigate, you need to have the logs. Well, sometimes the logs are already overwritten by the time you get to it. Scheduled trace collection will be putting the logs off onto a different server. And that way um, you're less likely to run into a scenario where you need the logs, but you don't have them. Getting back to what I'm going to cover in this video, you go to collect files and then eventually there will be a pop-up that opens. There are a lot of people out there who collect the log files only for uh, the servers. Yeah, the, this is the IMMP. Only for particular servers. They don't do all servers. They'll say sub one or sub two. I don't do that because you never know when one of the servers is going to get pulled in to have a, a media resource or um, it just so happens to be that there was a transfer and the phone was registered to a different node and you didn't know about that. It's, it's just a good idea to play it safe and check whatever logs you're going to select. Check the box for all servers. In this set of videos that I'm doing, it's only going to be the Cisco call manager service each and every time I'm only collecting the Cisco call manager service. And then I'll hit next. There's another whole set of uh, different types of logs that I can, can collect on this page. And then if you have an IMM in presence as part of your cluster, when you click next, if it's online, um, there would be a third page of logs to be able to collect from. And those would be I'm in presence server logs. You can do absolute range if something happened in the past and you know the date and time. 
I like to use relative range. If I can reproduce the issue, I go with relative range. Or if I'm just doing a test call, I go with relative range because I don't need to worry about what was the date and time. I can say, okay, I reproduced the issue within the past 10 minutes or whatever the time might be. And then I also will select uh, a new folder every time. So we'll do RT MT example every single time. That way all of the logs get dumped into their own folder. So if I were to make a test call, I would say test call one and it would have its own folder. And then when I go and make another test call, it would be test call two and it would have its own folder. And then at this point we could just say finish. And there's something very important that I want to point out here. There's going to be similar to the to the wheel that's spinning right now where my where my mouse is. RTMT is going to have its own little wheel that spins. The important note about that is the wheel stop spinning before RTMT is done collecting the logs. All right, so here's the window that I was talking about. And here's the little spin wheel that I was talking about. You, for, for this particular time, the spin wheel and the cancel button grayed out at the same time. However, when you're collecting a lot of logs, that spinny wheel can stop while the cancel button hasn't grayed out. So that will lead people to believe that the system is done with log collection and then they'll move forward and it just turns out that they didn't get all the logs. So it's very important that you wait for the cancel button to be grayed out. This way of collecting logs is the most common way most you know people know, people that collect logs on call manager, most people know about this way. But there are two other ways that I want to show. One way was the approach that I used when I was getting my, getting my CCIE collaboration. And the other way is an approach that we use when RTMT just isn't working for whatever reason. A lot of times that's due to high CPU on the, on the uh, servers. And we'll cover that method first. So we can see that both phones are registered to the same server. And if we go to this document here, which I can put in the description of the video, we can select whatever type of logs we want to gather. And here Cisco call manager is what I'm interested in. I'll take just the path here. And we'll go over here to the CLI and we'll do file get and then we'll paste the path here. And there's an argument or a parameter, I guess you can say that you can put on the end, which is rel time. There's a couple of other ones that you can use as well, but rel time stands for uh, the relative value like what we talked about earlier in RTMT. And there's a few different things that you can put months, weeks, days, hours, minutes, and then you put the value. I'm going to put minutes and uh, I'll choose 15 minutes, the past 15 minutes. So it goes and collects all the logs and then at this point it asks me if I want to proceed and I have to give it an SFTP server and give it the, the path to the SFTP server, the username, the password, all that good stuff. And then the call manager will reach out and dump the logs over onto the SFTP server. There's a, an important note here. It's only going to do that for this node. So we would have to go in and put it in uh, for each and every node where we wanted to collect logs. I'm not going to be going through the full process, so I'll cancel this now. All right, let's talk about the way that I would go about collecting logs when I was uh, studying for the lab and I wanted to be really fast about it. I didn't want to have to uh, worry about RTMT not working for any reason. 
And the way that I did that was I would change the settings and I would put the window to be something much larger than what it, it is by default. And then here I'll go and reset the terminal, clear the scroll back, and then we'll change this command to have on the end of it, it will say recent, meaning I want to look at the most recent log, the one that's being written to at the very moment. And we'll say file tail. Then over here, I can go back to my phones and I'll have one, I'll have 1000 call 1001. So that phone's ringing right now, 1001 is ringing. I'll answer it. And the call's connected. You can hear some of the, the echo and the feedback. I'll end that call now. And then I'll wait a little bit to let the log catch up. Then I'll hit Control C to stop it from printing. And on this point, I'll do copy all to clipboard and I'll fire up notepad plus plus. Hopefully we have the entire log set in here. We do, as you can see that the command is here. And a notify is kicked off. That's going to have to deal with doing DTMF. Here we get the invite and it's 1000. We only have the one right now. Other digits would get collected later. Those would be sent over with notifies. So we should see a zero and then a zero and a one. This is also for DTMF. KPML is keypad markup language, and these are the different uh, values that are acceptable. These are the parameters. So now here we get the other notify. So we already received the one, the, the, the digit of one in the invite, which you see here. And somewhere, maybe not on this one, maybe on a different one right here yes here we get the first zero and then we'll do a 200 okay there should be another notify we get the second zero there'd be a 200 okay and then we should get another notify and that's going to have the one so now we have all of the digits one zero zero one and we'll go into digit analysis like we saw in the other video and then it will look up uh, what device is associated with 1001 and then call manager will reach out to that device. So those are the different methods that I use for collecting uh, call manager traces or just logs in general off of the call manager. Uh, the one that we didn't really cover but we spoke about is scheduled log collection. Um, the other one that we talked about was collecting logs at that very moment in RTNT. And then we talked about using the file get command with the rel time argument uh, where we used minutes and a value of 15 saying we want to collect the, the past 15 minutes worth of logs. And then the final way that we looked at it uh, is how to do a file tail. Now, here's a very important note about the file tail. I don't recommend doing that in a production environment. Um, it's only something that I like to use when I'm doing things in the lab and I'm already in the CLI of the call manager, or if I'm in a testing environment and I want to quickly get the logs without having to deal with any of the other hassle, I may use that file tail command. But again, I do not recommend using that in a production environment. Try to use it, you know, only for lab environments.